Okay, so here's another example of a line integral, right? So we've got our vector field in the plane. We've got a curve in the plane. It's a parabola. And we would like to integrate the vector field along the curve. We've now seen the fundamental theorem of calculus. So the hope is, hey, maybe we can find a potential function. We can find this function whose gradient gives me this vector field and use that to evaluate the integral. Uh, but in this case, we might notice that if we do the check, let's see. So we need the, the y derivative of the x component. Um, let's see what that is. So that's going to be 4x. Um, that would need to equal the x derivative of the y component. But that is 4y. Okay? So these, these two derivatives are not equal. So this function can't possibly be a gradient, which means that the fundamental theorem of calculus does not apply. And so the only way that you can evaluate this integral is to go the long way and say, OK, so I've got to do the integral of x cubed plus 4xy times dx, and then 4xy minus y cubed times dy. And I'm going to have to parameterize. So that's going to be x cubed is, is 8t cubed, 2 times, so 8t times t squared, so another 8t cubed. dx is going to be 2. Then we're going to have 4 times x, so again 8t times t squared, that's that 8t cubed again. And then y cubed, so that's minus t to the sixth, and that's going to be times dy, so 2t dt, right? And so you've got to do the integral from 1 to 2 of, let's see, so that's 8, so 16, 32, 32t 32 cubed um, plus 16 t to the 4 minus 2t to the 7. All right, and you've got no choice but to go ahead and evaluate that integral, right? That's the only way that you're going to be able to get an answer on this one. Um, from here, it's power rule. It's pretty straightforward, um, right? What are we going to get? Um, 8t to the 4, 16 over 5t to the 5, minus 1 over 4 t to the 8th, and we're evaluating that from, from 1 to 2, which is going to be a bit of a mess, okay? I think we'll, uh, we'll skip plugging in the numbers. It's not going to be pleasant. Um, but just uh, you know, a check to make sure. Like You can't always apply the fundamental theorem of calculus, right? Uh, it's not going to work in every case. It's not like when you're doing integration in Calc 1 or Calc 2, where it seems like pretty much every integration problem involves finding an antiderivative and plugging in the endpoints. Sometimes you still got to go and do things the long way here, right? Um, you can't always apply the fundamental theorem. If this condition doesn't check out, you're out of luck.